Hey everybody, it's your girl Frida, and the look that I will be coming to you to do today is called um, iced tea with a little bit of lemon. Now this is the look, and it's unfinished yet, so I'll be talking you through this um, look. Now what I'm using is my sticky pour palette, manly palette that you can find on Beauty Factor. I'll be using this color right here and also this color right here and of course the brown. Now let's get started. It doesn't matter what you, um, it doesn't matter what brush you use. Um, I did use um, NYX concealer on my eye already or you can use any concealer that you can find um, or old foundation which is great. Um, I'm going to start with this yellow, and what I'm going to do is put it a little bit right here, okay? And you're going to blend it out as much as possible. Um, understand the key to good makeup is blending. Um, that is a great concept. Um, if someone can't tell where you started and stopped, that's a good concept, okay? Um, take your time with applying your makeup. And also realize that um, makeup can uh, also be changed. It can be fixed. Um, like I said, uh, also makeup can be, um, you know, transformed into another look. You might be um, going for one look and you wind up with another look. And it's okay. Um, my, uh, makeup is not permanent. You can always um, take it off. You can always... Um, fix it. So don't be intimidated about make makeup. It's not permanent. Okay, you guys? Um, and always practice, practice, practice. Practice makes good, you know. And right now I'm going to use that other gold that I showed you with the shimmer. And I like to put my highlight on kind of first because it's easier to blend in. Um, you don't have anything on your brush and it's just easier to blend in. As you can see, there's a little shimmer to it with my light. Okay. And also remind yourself that you don't have to get everything that everybody has to do a look. Um, you can buy, like I said, one good palette. And that palette um, is, you know, all basically you need. Now we're going to start off with our brown right in the corner. Don't put too much because what we're going to do is we're going to do a lot of blending. We're going to take that little bit of brown and we're going to blend as much as we can before we apply any more, okay? And that's the key of, good, you know, makeup is blending. And you can always fix it, like I said. Um, you always can add. You can always take off. Um... I'll try to do some videos of some of the uh, things that I learned in school about um, taking off makeup um, as far as if you had too much foundation on and um, also uh, I learned a new eye uh, I'm sorry not an eyebrow but um, an eyelash technique for those of you who are new to eyebrows, I mean eyelashes, sorry again. And see, we're just blending. You see what I'm saying? And you can just keep blending until you kind of get in that corner right here. But you don't want too much in that corner because it's not like a cut decrease, okay? So, um, and you want to keep blending. That little bit of brown on your brush is good okay you want this side and sometimes it's never going to match um, and that happens to me a lot so I have to go in and do a lot of cover up okay um, it's okay if you get some down here um, a good method is to use some tape um, and make sure you know that's why I use tape but um, or some translucent powder if you have that now I'm going to go back and put a little bit more yellow and blend my yellow out a little bit more. Okay. 
speaking to that lid. And I'm going to try to blend it real good. Because I'm going to bring, bring out some more of that brown. Okay. Now, um, I will be showing you some more techniques. I'm going to try to do a video a day um, on some of the things that I've learned in school. And you don't have to do them. There are so many people on here who's doing makeup. I learned a lot. Um, I want to also, there's a young, uh, older man, I want to say, uh, or young man uh, that um, I think his name is Icon. It's E-K-O-N. Um, he has a great tutorial on making your own um, brush cleaner. And it's really great, and y'all, I mean, out of home products, okay? And I used it, and I'm sorry, it's the best thing that I've had yet. Um, and it is so great, okay? Um, now, we blended it out as much as we could. So now we're going to just tell, take a, a regular gel liner. You can even use a pencil, but with me... Um, and pencils don't get along. Um, I can do pencils on anybody else, but when it comes to me, I can't. Now, you're going to use your angle brush on that. That's the one thing you do definitely should try to have in your brush um, collection. If you don't have anything else, you should try to have a, blood, a, a angle brush. And this is a new technique that I learned in school. My cell phone's going off, but we're not going to go answer it. Okay. And the trick is pulling up the lid and putting on uh, the color. Okay. We're going to go up this way. Okay. I'm going to try to get that water line. And it's okay if you mess up. Okay. And that's our look. It's that simple. And I'll be back with lashes. And um, cover up so you can see the final look. Let's get a little closer so you can see. But this is a simple look. That is not too bright. It's um, more like a summery look that you could wear just you know you can wear it to work um you could tone it down a lot um or you know not so much yellow um you could tone it down a lot or it could be a club look um so i'll be back Bye. hey everybody this is frida and i'm back i did use my true match um concealer and what i did was i came out here and i made myself a triangle and i blended it in with my fingers or you can use another brush, a longer, I'm sorry, a longer type brush to pat it in. That's what I use. Now I'm going to use my Peacock brush. It could be called something else. Um, but I love this brush to apply, um, um, to apply um, bronzer and also, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> bronzer and also um, blush. And I'm using my small little palette that I got also from Manly. Um, that has all of the color blushes in it and I'll be using this let me see if I can get it this color right here which is an orange color and I love this brush because all you're going to do is you're going to roll it onto the color and I just take it and go right here and just roll it up and see I got more color and you can put a little bit right there a little bit on the chin a little bit on nose and it gives you a little color now I decided not to do eyelashes because I want to give you a basic look that you can wear to work that you don't have to be um, so you know out there just a basic look and you saw it didn't really take much time um, the better the more you practice the easier it'll get and I'm just using my NYX. Um, I don't even know what color this is, but you can use a gold color or any color you like for a lip gloss. Um, I like to use a nude color lip gloss because 
Um, if you're going to have a dramatic eye, I like um, either one. If you're going to have a dramatic lip or a dramatic eye or a dramatic che cheeks, something has to be neutral. That's just me. That's how I like it. Unless you're going out and you want to do everything bold. But this is the look. And I'm going to get a little closer. And that's the look. And we're done. See, it was simple, easy, practice makes perfect, and we're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I am going to be doing more videos of me talking you through. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And you know what I always say, if you look good, what? Smell good. So thank you guys for taking the time to watch me. See you later.